When I was nine years old, I uh, was sifting through old family photographs when I stumbled on one of a young man in military uniform. We had a picture of my grandfather. He would pull that one down and ask about him, and I had no information. I guess what really piqued the interest was the fact that there were no answers. And then that just cracked open this whole world of what happened in Italy, what happened in Germany, Pacific. I just wanted to find out all of it. When I was 16, I started a YouTube channel documenting the services of World War II veterans. The mission is just preserving history for future generations. Whenever I go visit the veterans after the initial video interview, a bunch of amazing stories come out. You talk to these guys, you feel the emotion. You hear firsthand what they experienced. How you doing? Thanks so much for coming out here in the rain, Alvin. It's been a while. He was always a hero to me, but as I've gotten older, I've realized how important that service was, and it seemed like Andy was the person to bring it out of him, and he really cracked an egg open, and I heard stories from him that I'd never heard in all my life. As soon as I got on the Story Car app, I started listening, and I found some amazing stories. Stories really bring people together. And then I went into the ship, they said, the war is over. <laughs> they celebrate. <laughs> you can read words, but when it comes from that person, I think it, it creates a lot more compassion because you're actually hearing their heart. It does everybody good to open up. Mm -hmm. Well, both sides get medicine. Listening is honoring. Here are people that are sharing something that they haven't talked about in 70 plus years. Everybody should dedicate a little bit of time to just preserve the stories of our veterans while we still have time. Sometimes all the veterans need is just somebody to listen.